Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric. Another software update for a white Model 3, and I also have to take it in for service. Let's jump right in and check it out. Huge thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool and Nicola Pro at supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. So right at the break, I noticed a new visualization over here on this side of the screen, which looks really good. So if I open up the driver door, you can see an animation there with opening and closing the driver door. So I'm assuming that the front trunk and the trunk also do that as well. If we go over here to the release notes, we can see that there is release notes improvements. Release notes improvements will now include improved browsing and access. So now we get this tabbed view over here of everything that's new. So driving, driving visualization, visualization improvements. So the cluster has been refreshed. Autopilot set speed, autopilot availability, detection speed are now displayed next to the driving speed. So you can see up here at the top. So we're gonna have the driving speed pushed over towards the driver and then the autopilot and the cruise control or the autopilot set speed is now pushed over. Scheduled departure has now been improved. So this can help with you know you charging on off peak times. So now you can schedule and have the climate controls come on. So you get into a preheated or pre-cooled car, which is great. Supercharger display improvements. Supercharger pins on your touchscreen will now dis the number of available stalls on site. So instead of just having a random pin, now it says, hey, there's five charges available. So that's great. Vehicle information, the T has been removed from the top. Oh no! Our trusty T that is usually right up here at the top is gone. That is it for our release notes. We've actually gotten some cleaner looks here at the bottom. So this I think is a lot better. And if you'll notice, um, let's see, if I put my foot on the brake, now we have all the um, the warning lights and everything flashing over here on the side, which is great. Now if I put it in drive, you can see that this is really widened out and some of the like backup camera and other things that were kind of cluttered in through here have been moved down along here. And I like where they did this, where we have vehicle settings, music, backup cam It's just designed a lot better. So if we go into music, I'll show you what's going on with my car. I'll click on radio, and you can see here we're just listening to a radio station. If I do another station, hit tune, nothing happens. So just doing some radio stations that I do know, I can hit tune here, and you can see nothing happens um, up here. I don't get any change in terms of the station. So 101, tune, just nothing. It's not gonna tune anywhere. Um, so they have been on my service documents that I have received thus far, it's saying that they're going to replace the FM tuner um, in this car. This is a 2018 Model 3. So um, I was trying to look at Christmas lights with my family, which, had the whole blinking to a radio station, and when I couldn't plug in the radio station, very disappointing and definitely a Tesla fail. But right now, I am taking my car in for service, so let's jump in and let's go. Okay, so of course I don't have the FSD beta yet, so it will not make the left-hand turn at an intersection, but it's not gonna stop me from trying. So hopefully I can get that soon and show you guys a ton of footage I have a lot of tests planned for including my curvy country road test, which you guys are probably familiar with. I'll put a link to that playlist up here in the corner. Now, I want to say with this newest update, the layout of the display is a lot better. I really like how they push the speed that you're traveling over all the way to the left hand side and any sort of warnings are going to be on that left edge there but also autopilot's kind of front and center at the top middle um, along with your set speed. So really great job in terms of layout. And I also love how they cleaned up kind of the underneath the visualization area. That just looks a lot better to me and I love how they made that a little bit wider. That's gonna come in really handy for those of us that have purchased the FSD and are gonna watch the cars drive like I've seen a ton of other YouTubers do all those lucky guys that have the FSD beta. I gave a couple shout outs to the channels that I've been watching in my last software update video.
Now I want to touch on a couple improvements that I've noticed with service. So I've been a long time Tesla owner, haven't been to service in probably at least a year, probably a year and a half. And there's some really big improvements for those of you that haven't used service lately. So first off, as soon as I pull up and I enter the parking lot, like I drive into the parking lot, I don't talk to anybody, the car goes into it in service mode. Like it recognizes that I'm there at the service center and it's in for service. So the app actually changes immediately as soon as I get into the parking lot and says in for service. That's so awesome. And then I get a message through the Tesla app saying that, hey, we recognize you're here, park it. You know, there's designated parking spots for drop-offs. So all I do is drop it off and it has my Uber link there so I can just click on the Uber link and get an Uber and I'm on my way. Really great seamless service. You don't have to drop off a key or anything like that. Very awesome. Now, when my car was complete, about four hours later, I got another message through the Tesla app saying that my car was ready and another Uber link. So I was able to tap on that link and get a ride back to the service center to pick up my car. It was so seamless and so easy and everything was discussed through the Tesla app, through the messages, so I could directly message with the service center if need be and they sent my invoice all through the Tesla app. You can see all your history of invoices and everything. It is just a huge improvement since the last time I have used Tesla service. Excellent job, fast service, super easy, touchless service. It was just a great all around experience. And not to mention, yes, now my radio is completely fixed. So I guess once a year when I actually listen to the radio in my car to watch Christmas lights, it should work next Christmas. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So for those of you that are still watching, I wanted to show you this sweet, Mandalorian or the child Chia pet that I got for Christmas, but that's not what this is really about. If you haven't quick clicked away yet, you are a true all electric fan. And that's why I wanna share this with you. I'm working on a new video series that is going to go over. We bought a huge mountain lot and we are building a passive solar house. So that has nothing to do with solar panels, but it is rather a house that takes advantage of the repetitive nature of the sun to heat and cool the space. So that is going to be a separate video series in addition to the regular content that you're used to on this channel. It is going to be a complete build series of this passive solar house. It's gonna have a lot of other features that I'm really excited about, like radiant floor, smart home, that kind of stuff in this smaller slab on grade construction house. So a lot of really exciting things coming, including, um, this video series, which I'm really pumped about and ready to get started, should be breaking ground in the next couple months. So I'm gonna have a complete series or playlist on this whole build. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.